Hey, I'm Ted from Quixel. Today we're gonna have a look at Megascans. It's a huge online library of PBR CAD-ridden materials and assets. And let's check out a couple of scenes that were entirely created using Megascans data. Hi, my name is Jan Major. I'm a VFX artist, primarily working on cinematics. I've been in the industry for around 10 years. I've uh, worked on projects such as uh, Star Wars, Transformers, uh, Batman, League of Legends, and today we're going to look at Megascans. So here's a scene I've been working on using some of the uh, Megascans vegetation assets. Um, it was put together in around about two days. Um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty simple, but it really demonstrates the fidelity you can get from uh, the scans. Um, it's essentially using displacements, uh, card alphas, and uh, scatter systems to distribute the assets throughout the scene. Um, you can see the translucency is coming through fairly well. Uh, it's all rendered in V-Ray, and we're going to go and have a look at how it was created. So here you can see the basic layout of the scene in Max. Uh, the geometry for the scene is really quite simple. Um, it really relies on the fidelity of the scans to bring up the detail. Uh, let's go and have a look at the individual assets. So here you can see an overview of some of the assets we've used. Uh, it includes around about 150 leaf assets. The leaves are simple geometry cards which have been displaced using the captured displacement data from the scan. So it's very simple to reconstruct all the topology. The leaves come with all the relevant channels. Uh, they have scanned PBR calibrated albedo maps, glossiness maps, normals, displacement, bump, AO, cavity, alpha, and translucency. It's all scanned at 4K, and the resolution is really quite good. Hi, my name is Dan Moji. I was environment lead at Blur for seven years. I worked on projects such as Thor, Resident Evil, Bioshock, Elder Scrolls, and I'm going to show you what I've done over the past couple of days with Megascans. So definitely one of the funnest things for me about this team was working with the assets and the textures. Just knowing that they were going to hold up at 4K was uh, a relief, and it, I can immediately start working on the composition and the lighting and uh, pretty quickly got something that I liked and this whole scene only took three days for me to build and uh, the results speak for themselves. So there you go. This has been a small glimpse into the many thousands of materials part of the Megasense library and the library is growing every day. We are extremely excited to see what to do with it. Thanks for watching.